today is going great and the annual general meeting and the environment is very positive. Really enjoying the AGM so far. It just feels like a really fresh organisation with um, forward thinking leadership and it's just a privilege to be here. Adult learning started as a social justice movement in its very roots. That is what we do on the ground. It's about creating positive social change. It's about social equality. It's about inclusion. It's about addressing the issues and making sure that the world is a better, safer place for us to live in. And education is the most powerful tool uh, to do that. And that's what we recognize with this strategic plan. So the direction that it is going in is for Aintis to be a catalyst for change. Bringing it back to basics is really also thinking, what are the things that we're doing that aren't actually connected to this mission and this vision? Some things will have to go or stop or pause. So what should we start? What should we continue? What should we stop? And then making sure within the plan that we have clear targets to ensure accountability. It's really great to be back in person meeting people and having conversations around tables. Whoever we meet at these events is always so friendly. They support you second to none. I started off with a programme of steps in 2017 with um, the Women's Council of Ireland and just this month I've set up my own business. So it's just about sharing my pathway and my experience in adult education. We need to recognise the human rights of all people with um, different abilities in education. Um, they need to be involved in the community. They need to have choices equal to theirs. And it's about treating people with equality, um, respect and, and dignity. I have been so impressed with how watertight all the policies and procedures are. Uh, but I'm also delighted to be part of an organisation that really advocates on behalf of the adult learner. Our purpose for what we do is to promote adult education and we know how important that is to our community and to Ireland and for anybody looking to go back to school. So there's that platform there that says it's possible for you to do that. It's really important for me to say to you, if you've got people failing, they're not engaging, it's okay. You're, you're still impacting them. It may be 10 years down the line, or maybe they're kids that will get that impact. We don't always have to measure success by completion or performance, there's so much more. It's always good uh, for people to talk about their practice as educators. Um, we had some of our funders in the room as well from the department for further higher education research and innovation and science and also from SOLAS. So it was a good opportunity for us to sort of describe the activities we've been doing to support learners. Yeah, it's really refreshing in a way to work with people that are uh, like constantly just interested, motivated and passionate about the work. There are many challenges around in the world of education and throughout society, but we think listening to learners, listening to the organisations that represent them, give us a chance to plan out what we need to do. So I think we're coming away from today very upbeat, mindful of the challenges, but optimistic that we can really make a difference for learners across Ireland. The little seven-year-old me, that still longs to be loved and cared for, is getting so much from opportunities like this and from people like you. So I just want to thank you all for keeping the fight going. Don't give up on it. Even if you change one life, one life, it's enough.